he does have a very long leash when it comes to his take on China and what he can do. But at a certain point, you know, it may be that he's gone too far. In fact, yeah. the Consumer Technology Association put out a statement today against the tariffs, which uh, and, and they say Congress uh, should pass, you know, this policy to get, take some uh, control of the situation back. Your point, Stephanie, is they, ha they do have some control over trade right now. I mean, they still have to approve the USMCA, the Mexico-Canada agreement. Is, yeah. is that more or less likely now, given everything that's happened? So, you know, what? Uh, the way that the USMCA approval, the new NAFTA, has always been positioned to me is it's Nancy Pelosi's decision at the end of the day. And so I do think it's, you know, Congress is going to have a lot of things to fight with the president about, but all of these political arguments, you know, take place in a broader political context. And with the 2020 elections looming, it's kind of what does the country need? So if there is a lot of economic pressure from China and this feels like a way to provide some relief or at least some good news, it could be helpful to get Democrats to vote. Right. And Jimmy, it would certainly be helpful for the economy and for some businesses who at least want clarity on, okay, if I'm going to relocate out of China, that Mexico is kind of a safe place to go. Well, I mean, that's really the thing, isn't it? Where is the safe place to go? <laughs> yeah. uh, when, when businesses were talking about going to Vietnam, what did you see from the president? He started tweeting about our trade deficit with Vietnam. Right. May, maybe we need to launch a trade war against them. Listen, the smartest thing someone told me at the start of these trade wars was, was listen, it's very difficult for the president to make trade, trade more open, make it freer. He has amazing tools at his disposal to shut it down. I think we're only now fully realizing the extent of his ability to do that. So, and again, to, to make your point clear to people who are, who are following this, you do not think this is all setting up for some trade deal that we're going to get a headline in two weeks' time. And it's all, you know, Bill Miller I, out, has suggested a, a moratorium on tariffs could be a a shot in the arm for the economy going into the election. You don't think anything like that? I, listen, is I think that, that would be a, I think that would be a shot in the arm for the economy, but I think that would look like a humiliating defeat for a president who has made China and trade, not the tax cuts, but trade the core of really his entire political agenda. Mm -hmm. To put a moratorium on it, uh, again, I, I think the president likes to likes to look strong. That would not look strong.